Did you know that you can encrypt Git repositories? Well, with a small helper script, it's possible to use your GPG key to encrypt Git remotes. That way you can synchronize sensitive data between multiple devices or even share it between multiple users without worrying about your privacy. And in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can encrypt your Git remotes. So let's get started. In order for you to encrypt your Git remotes you need three things. Obviously you need Git installed on your system, then you also need a GPG key for encryption and decryption and lastly you need the Git remote gcrypt helper. You can easily install all of them with one of those commands here depending on your distribution. Before we can continue you will need a GPG key pair for encryption and decryption of your Git remote. To generate a new GPG key pair you can use the GPG full gen key command and if you're not sure if you might already have a GPG key pair you can also list all of your key pairs by running GPG list keys. Once you have set up your GPG key pair make sure to back it up securely because if you lose your GPG key pair you will also lose access to all of your encrypted Git remotes. For backing up you can use the gpg export options command and for restoring the gpg import options command. Now we can finally continue with the interesting part of this video, setting up an encrypted git remote. And to do this you can use any normal git repository. In my case I've just initialized an empty git repository and added a readme file to it. At first we have to add a remote to our git repository, but to mark it as an encrypted remote we have to prefix the remote URL with gcrypt column column. For this video I'm going to use a github repository as a remote, but you could just as well use any other git service you want. Hence I will use this newly generated github repository as a remote and prefix the URL with gcrypt column column to mark it as an encrypted remote locally. In the next step you have to specify which GPG key pairs are able to encrypt and decrypt this particular remote. To do that you have to use the remote.remote_name.gcrypt_participants git configuration. In my case that's remote.origin.gcrypt_participants because I've named my encrypted remote origin. And the actual value of this configuration will be your GPG key fingerprint. This can be obtained by running GPG list key. As a side note you can also specify multiple fingerprints here if you might have multiple users that work on this encrypted git remote. Lastly you also have to tell git which gpg key pair you want to use for encryption and this can simply be done by setting the user.signing key git configuration to your particular gpg fingerprint. And that's basically it. You can now work with your git repository as you used to. You can create commits and then push them to your origin and the git remote gcrypt helper will do all of the encryption automatically for you. So in my case I've just committed the simple readme file and uploaded it to the remote by running git push origin master. And as you can see here the entire github repository is just some gibberish, meaning that the entire content has been successfully encrypted. But you have to know that this helper will always do a force push, meaning that the entire remote will always be replaced by your local state. Hence it's highly recommended to first run git pull before you push your changes to the encrypted remote. Of course you can also clone encrypted git repositories by simply running git clone and prefixing the remote URL with gcrypt column column as you're used to. But this clone will only work if you have access to one of the gpg key pairs that have been specified in the gcrypt participants configuration. You can find the github repository with all of the necessary commands in the description down below. And the git remote gcrypt helper also has some other features so make sure to check out its documentation. If this video helped you then consider sending me some anonymous cryptocurrencies or at least like this video and subscribe to my channel. By the way all of my videos can also be found on other platforms like Odyssey or Rumble if you prefer to watch them there. And with that said, thank you so much for watching and have a great time.